여러분안녕하세요 Hello, my friends. Finally, this is the last part of Korean consonant. Congratulations! Started from the lip sounds, we now finishing all the consonant sound inside our mouth. Today's sounds are made in the back of our mouth, and they sound very similar to English equivalent ones. Those consonants are, 기억 상기억 키억이응 and 히읗 Once again, 기억상기억키억이응 and 히읗 All right, let's start. 기억 has an in-between sound of English, 그 and 크 sound. When we say Go, great, girl. You hear this g sounds. Sangyeok sound. You can hear this from sky, scary, and school. Right after s sound, those k sounds gets similar to Korean g sound. One last time reminder: focus on the sound only, not the spelling. We are studying totally new language here and figuring out what kind of sounds these new characters are making. k is easy. It's perfectly the same as the English k sound. k, crazy, Chris. The next one is i u n It has a special feature. As an initial, it doesn't have any sound value, meaning you don't pronounce this one. When it is in the initial position, keep that in mind. Thinking of the shape as zero, meaning there is nothing, right? But as a final consonant, it has ng sound like sing, bank, Hong Kong. Once again, it has this ng sound only when it is in the final position. The last one here has a non-silent h sound. Like happy, high, and hungry. In English, for some words, we choose not to pronounce the initial h, like air or honest. But in Korean, we never skip this sound from the initial position. Always, h sound should be there. My friends, now you know all 19 Korean consonants. Good job. From now on, I'll see you in the lessons for the vowels. See you then. 拜拜。